First of all, I'd like to give all honor and praise to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For all the blessings and the abilities that he has given me. Uh, they told us that if you become too long that Bruce will pull your pants. <laughs> so I, Mary Ann was up here and I'm just looking at him and see what he's going to try to pull a dress, you know. So. <laughs> And then, and then they were talking about Ken Easley. Is Ken still here? Okay, he must have left. I'm quite sure Mr. Joe's or Dr. Coons or Dr. Andreco wasn't there when Tommy Rose was coaching Ken Easley because they must have they only had Ken Easley because Bruce said he ran back punts, he kicked off, he, he, he threw the ball and went downfield and caught it. So I don't know, he did everything. So I mean, it was just amazing. Uh, he had more abilities than anybody that I ever known. And uh, had I known Ken Easley before I went into the pros, I would have gotten some of that from him. Uh, the night is a great night for me. Uh, I only wish my grandparents and my mom. Those were some of the greatest people in my life. And they always, taught me that you fight for whatever you get. And if you get knocked down, the only way you can be successful, you have to get back up. And for that, I want to thank my grandparents. Uh, also, uh, I wasn't going to call a name, but Mary Ann had a dictionary, and she was calling all the names, so I thought I'd call a few. Uh, so I, I also uh, would like to give thanks to the guys that are no longer here, Coach Quarles, Andrews, and Coach Bynum. To the classmates of 2016, congratulations, and may God always bless you. Many people along my professional and educational journey have had my back. I have my extended family here tonight, and then I have my family family here tonight. And I'm not gonna call names and uh, when I go through the list, if you just raise your hand, I'd appreciate it because if I call names, we'd be here much longer, you'd be pulling my pants. So <laughs> I just. As I said, many people are here along with me for my professional and educational journey that have my back. And true foe, they are here tonight, starting with my high school classmates and teammates from Crestwood High School. Would you raise your hand? I have friends and family here from Norfolk State University, Elizabeth City State University. Would you raise your hand? I have my neighbors here. I have my church family here. I have my family family from Oscar Smith High School, past and present here. Will you raise your hand, please? Woo! I have members from the school division that are not per se within the schools themselves, but would you people from the school division raise your hand? I'm a a blessed person, and I must say that God blessed me with a lot of ability. And I never took anything for granted because I knew in order to be successful that I had to work. I knew in order to be successful I had to get an education. And, and football and baseball professionally was the furthest thing from my mind. My main focus was to go to college and get an education and be successful. And again, God has blessed me to do those things. My family, my nieces and nephews, raise your hands. My brothers and sisters and husbands and wives, raise your hand, please.
Last, but certainly not least, I have my children here with me, uh, Saritha, Darrell, uh, Sherry, Courtney, and I have my grandboys here, Jamon, Devin, and Jordan. My son can't be here tonight because, uh, again, to show you how blessed that I am, uh, he was out of a job. He was coaching with the Chicago, with Chicago Bears, and when they got rid of the head coach at Chicago, those you know about sports, they get rid of assistants too. So uh, a few months ago, he was hired by the New York Giants as a, a special team coach, so he can't be here. <laughs> my daughter, Lori, can't be here. Uh, my two granddaughters, uh, Jade and Skylar, of course, if their parents are not here, they, they couldn't be here. Uh, it's a blessing to be placed in the Hall of Fame with such great people that have come before me. And it's obvious I'm blessed to go in with the class of 2016. Guys, I thank you, and it's a blessing to be uh, associated with you guys. As I go down the home stretch now, I want to introduce you to somebody that I love dearly. She's been my friend, she's been my rock, she's been my soulmate, and of course she's my wife. Uh, she she uh, received her doctorate degree about a couple years ago. And uh, I said that at, at one occasion, I, I, I introduced her and I called her Dr. Debbie Huntley Stooks. And I said I wouldn't do it again. Guys, let me tell you, don't tell nobody what you won't do. <laughs> because I end up eating those words and I introduce somebody, I say, yeah, this is my wife, Dr. Debbie Huntley Stooks. <laughs> And that happened to be somebody in the crowd that heard me say that. I thought you said you weren't going to do that. <laughs> well, guys, when you say what you're not going to do when it comes to your wives, you're just dreaming. So, you know, just keep it to yourself. Uh, <laughs> Debbie, I thank you for everything. Taking care of me and my girls <laughs> and my grandson. I'm not a preacher, but I can tell you without a doubt, when I was about 12 years old, I had polio. And my mom took me to the doctor, and the doctor told her that he had infantile paralysis. So my mom said, okay, now break it down to me, and you tell me what you're talking about. And he told my mom I had polio. So, you know, you, you, you can't tell me what God can't do for you. I got over to polio. I was fortunate enough to play baseball, basketball, and football. And as Bruce has already said, I don't need to repeat it, the things that I was able to accomplish. And I am one proud person, and I am a grateful person, and I'm thankful for all the things that have happened to me and for me. Uh, I know you guys want to go home. And, and I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close. If you have sons and daughters, always encourage them to do their best in school, athletically, or whatever the situation might be. Don't let them say that they can't do this or they can't do that. And the only reason that they can't is because they don't want to. And I encourage you to, I encourage you to encourage them that they might be very, very successful. To Mr. Webb, to the executive board, and to the board of directors, again, on behalf of my family and myself, we say thank you and may God bless you.